Hello, my beautiful. Yellow bone, red bone, butter pecan, caramel, butterscotch, toffee, mocha, chocolate, cocoa, exoticals. Welcome to the Pretty Girl Club. Welcome to the Exoticals United Community. If you are new here, welcome. Here in the Exoticals United Community, we support men and women from the following people groups multiracials, biracials, multi generationally mixed and light-skinned golden people. First off, I just want to say thank you so much. We now have 7,000 exoticals who are sitting around looking pretty, drinking our smoothies, living the soft life, and doing our workouts. We are absolutely crushing it out here in these social media streets. I know that we will continue to grow and our community, it's getting stronger and stronger every single day. So I'm super excited about that. If you're new here, welcome to the community. Welcome to the Pretty Girl Club where you don't have to worry about people invalidating you. You don't have to worry about people policing your identity or saying you're not white enough, you're not mixed enough, you're not that light skin, blah, blah, blah. You benefit from pretty privilege. Guess what? We we do benefit from pretty privilege over here and we're fucking proud of it, okay? This is the Exoticals United community. Where our heels are high and our standards are higher. Where we live the soft life, yet we decenter men. And we get our exotical tax at all costs. There is no other channel like this in the women's empowerment space. There is no other channel like mine in the women of color space. This is a life-changing community, so if you are ready to become a part of the Pretty Girl Club, hit that subscribe button. If you are ready to feel empowered, hit the subscribe button because this is a place where we embrace feeling confident. This is not a place where we compete with others and feel like, oh my god, I have to throw shade against that person. No. If you come on this channel to argue with me, you will be banned. And if you come on this channel to argue with my subscribers, your comment will be removed. So yes, I am creating the biggest pretty girl echo chamber that you have ever heard of in your entire life. Yes, we are delusional light skins. Yes, we are delusional chocolate exoticals. And we will be using our pretty girl powers to manifest the lives we desire. So with that being said, um, let's get into today's topic. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can use your body type to gain pretty privilege and get that exotical tax. So I'm going to be using Raven Ross as an example today. So she was the girl from Love is Blind. She was the mixed girl who dated that one African guy, SK. So long story short, Love is Blind is a Netflix TV show where like you go on there and you don't know what the person looks like and you kind of talk to them in these pods and then you have to propose to them and then you see what they look like and like if it's going to work out or whatever or if the person is pretty enough for you or they are attractive enough for you, then you will uh, get married and stuff like that. So SK's dusty ass, not only did he not end up staying with Raven, this guy ends up cheating on her, he refuses to provide for her, and apparently he said that he wasn't attracted to her or rumors were swirling that he wasn't attracted to her. I don't necessarily think that's the case, but I think that when it comes to a lot of men who are kind of average at best or subpar, I think that when they come across a woman who's attractive and who has things going for her, a lot of guys, they don't have like the tenacity to actually provide and do all the things that you want. So if you look at Love is Blind, you'll see the episode where Raven was asking like, hey, I want someone who could at least pay 50% of my rent. Um, and then he like said no. And like, basically he didn't even have a job or he didn't have a full-time job because he was in school kind of building himself up. So basically he wanted more of like a Barbara the Builder style relationship. And Raven, she wanted a guy who was kind of already established, who already had things going for himself. Um, and basically he wasn't able to provide and he treated her like absolute trash. But Raven was able to use her pretty girl exotical powers to manifest a following on Instagram. So about a year before the show aired, Raven was working as a bartender slash bottle girl, and she said that she hated her job. Like she said this on Love is Blind and also in interviews afterwards. She said she hated her job. She didn't like just being a bottle girl, kind of making minimum wage or whatever. And her real passion was Pilates and fitness. And so before she even went on the show, she had started a Pilates workout YouTube channel and she was able to grow her following to 3,000 subscribers before the show even aired. 
And then after the show blew up, even though it didn't work out the way that Raven intended it to work out, she was still able to use her newfound fame to increase her following when it came to making workout videos because that's what she loved doing. She loves making videos of herself exercising. By the way, you guys should totally subscribe to her channel. I subscribe to it. Um, but that's her passion. She loves making workout videos and being like a fitness guru. And so she was able to still use the clout and the fame that she got from that show to attract people to her YouTube channel. So now she does things like training others online, like a digital personal training, I guess. And that's how she gets her exotical tax. So she is now full time online. She doesn't have to work for others. And also Raven was saying how when she was working at a Pilates studio, like before she was famous and stuff, she was saying how a lot of the older white Karens, well, she didn't say it in this way, but she was saying how a lot of the other ladies at the studios, when she would play her music in her classes, they kind of like didn't like it and it was too uptight for her and they didn't really embrace her in the way that she wanted to be embraced. And so that's why she decided to just go online and make those fitness workout videos. So Exoticals, I want you to think about this. Do you like fitness? Do you like working out? Is there any way you could just start creating content, whether it's of you like exercising or doing personal training? Is there a fitness class that you could start? Could you do some sort of online fitness membership course? Do you like nutrition? Do you want to be a nutritionist? Because if so, especially if you already have beauty and you already have pretty privilege and you have a nice body, people are already looking at you anyway. And so you can use the social power that you have from your pretty body shape and you can use that to become a monetized business just like Raven did. I noticed that she got herself a little boob job, you know, and looks great by the way. I'm about to get a boob job, so I'm excited about that. But no, um, she got a boob job and she like looks really nice or whatever. Her abs look fantastic, like her hair is pretty. So she kind of prepared herself to be in the public eye and she made sure that her body looked good and she also named her Instagram Pilates Body Raven. So she named her Instagram after the fitness brand that she wanted to build so that whenever you think of Pilates, you think of Raven. And another thing about Raven is that she is one of those people who, when it comes to her pretty privilege, she doesn't want to lead with that or become like some sort of makeup influencer. So that's what I actually have in common with Raven. Like I love the pretty privilege, but I don't necessarily want to spend my life like just doing hair and makeup only. Um, and so she was able to still use the pretty, priv pretty privilege, but in terms of like her body and fitness and helping other women to become fit and kind of inspiring women being this fitness inspo influencer. And so that was a very good idea. So Exoticals, I want you to think about this. Is there anything that you can do when it comes to your pretty privilege or your body shape in particular? Is there a way you can promote your body shape? Do you have a pear shaped body? Because when I get my boobs reduced or whatever, um, I'm going to go into more of a pear shape as opposed to hourglass. So do you have a pear shaped body? Can you make fitness content about pear shaped bodies? Can you make a fashion channel or a fashion Instagram account or a fashion TikTok account where you just show yourself from the neck down? You don't even have to show your face. Can you just show yourself from the neck down talking about how to dress for a pear shaped body, how to dress for a plus size body, how to dress if you have a big butt, how to dress if you have a big stomach, how to dress for an apple shape. There are plenty of people who are able to make money off of doing things like that. So if you already have the social clout of pretty privilege, or even if you don't have any social clout whatsoever, but you would like to build some and you don't even want to show your face, you could even create a Pinterest board. You can create something to where you're still getting eyes on you. You're still getting attention and you could even get free products. A lot of brands, they want to see people wearing their clothing. So you could get free clothes and guess what? That's money that you don't have to spend on clothes. Just like how free drinks is a part of pretty privilege, free clothes, that is damn sure a part of pretty privilege. Free makeup, free clothes, free hair products, that is definitely a part of pretty privilege. So those are still forms of getting your exotical tax and I just want you guys to think about that. Anyway, what do you guys think about people like Raven Ross? What do you think about starting your own fitness business or your own fashion influencing business? Maybe even your own clothing brand. Have you ever thought about that? What ways are you getting your exotical tax in 2024? 
Let's get the discussion started in the comment section, and I'll talk to you next time. Stay pretty, ladies.